strawberry season is upon us and I'm at French Prairie Gardens with Karen and besides fresh strawberries and other produce, they even make shortcake to go with these strawberries. And you're gonna show us how to make that shortcake. Yes, uh, today we're gonna do just some fresh shortcake and then with some fresh strawberries that we picked out in the field. And I've got some flour started here with a little bit of salt and baking soda and a little bit of sugar. And then we've got some butter that we're gonna put in the Cuisinart here to um, mix up. Pretty simple ingredients. Very simple ingredients. And then once that's blended, um, we'll add a little bit of milk and put it in uh, the pan and bake it. And we'll be ready to go. And you do a lot of other baked goods here also. Yes, we do fresh strawberry pies, scones. I've had the scones. The scones are really good. <laughs> and the fresh coffee cake. And we use all of our ingredients, uh, berries and fruit we use that we pick here on the farm fresh that day. So I've heard about CSAs before. I don't know a lot, and I know that you participate in that. We do. Uh, CSAs stands for Community Supported Agriculture, which is basically an 18-week program of fresh-picked produce. Uh, and we are a little different because we also have fruits. We have some fruit trees, peaches, apples, pears, um, and strawberries, caneberries, and a variety of vegetable crops as well. And uh, there's still shares available for that. So it's not too late to sign up. It's not too late to sign up. So that went together really easy. And you have one that's all ready. And we're going to go put together a strawberry shortcake now? Yes. All right. Sounds great. Karen, this shortcake looks great, but it looks a little bit bigger than the recipe that we're going to have online. Yes, it is. It's a triple batch. And so we will just have a single batch, though. And basically, everything's done the same. Just uh, bake it at 350 and for about 15 minutes, and you'll have the same same type of shortcake. I love that you did it in the um, in the pan so you don't have to roll out and use cookie cutter or something yes, to make it. So that's yeah, nice. Yeah. That's nice. It's, it's really easy. So we're going to just take a piece out here and start putting this together here. Normally I just slice it in half so we have a little bit more berries on yeah, there. More room for berries is a good thing. Yes. So this takes about two pints of strawberries for a single recipe. And then you finish it with whipped cream. Finish it with whipped cream. So while you're getting the whipped cream on, I understand there's a lot of different events that are going to be coming up. Yes, this weekend we start with our Berries, Brews, and Barbecue, which is a barbecue contest with, you can go out and pick fresh strawberries, as well as we have three local breweries coming, Widmer Brothers, Silver Moon from Bend, and Nikasi is also going to be coming to, to have some tastings going on and some beer by the glass. I like that. Also a couple wineries, then we have uh, some family activities going on, um, our slides available, obstacle course, hay rides, they can go out and pick fresh strawberries out in the field, and that will all be um, starting this weekend. That's great. And then you also have a, a dinner event periodically, yes, correct? Yes, we have grilling in the garden, and there's reservations that you'll need to make, and that's also available. And we have more activities as far as for the family, come out, pick some fresh strawberries, get a hayride out to the field, um, do the obstacle course, hay rides, look at the animal barn. Um, there's lots of things going on for families. I think that's great, yeah. Lots of events for the family. It's a beautiful place to come out to. Uh, strawberries aren't here for long, so make sure you get down. And we'll have a link at our website, fusionnw.com, to the French Prairie Gardens. Thanks a lot, Karen. Yes, thank you. And I'm gonna start now.